Hi, good morning. Um, it's a nice November day out today, 2024. Family member, I didn't go deer hunt. Well, I did go deer hunt last year. I didn't get anything. Gave me a leg. Oh, thigh leg. To do what I want with it. Um, I was trying to figure out, I was going to smoke it, and, and I really do want to, want to smoke it. So I was trying to figure out what to do, how to do it. And then last night I'm watching Heath Riles with a video on turkeys. So he did a spatchcock turkey and then he did just a regular um, turkey breast. So he made up, he's got a marinade that he has or a, a brine that he has. Kind of gave me an idea. So I got pepper, black pepper, crushed it. I used about a cup of kosher salt. This was probably a quarter cup, maybe a little less, maybe like three teaspoons or tablespoons. Um, some garlic, and then I cut up an onion, sliced it up. We got one of this thing off of uh, QVC or yeah, HSN or something. Pulls out the I try to dice it right down to where it's nothing. Um, I was gonna get a brine bag. He puts them in brine bags. I don't need a brine bag that holds 35 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever. So I have. For when I'm doing my bacon, uh, pork, pork belly, I have the two and a half gallon empty bag. So I figured, you know what, I'll try that. We'll see what happens. So I filled it about a third full of water, a little under half. Put everything in. Um, I've got it zipped up. Mix it up. Get everything in together. Put the leg in. Let's see what we got here. Should fit. I measured it. It should fit. Oh, I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna. My luck, I'm gonna spill that thing all over the kitchen. Then the wife's gonna be mad. That I don't want. So put this in here. I got it in a bowl, just so it doesn't go everywhere. Makes it a little easier. Um, pull this out. Get some of the air out of it. All right, we got the air out of it. It's mixed up in there. Just gonna lay this down properly. Now I've got it in a pan. Hopefully this won't leak. I've got it in a cookie sheet actually. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this back. And hopefully, um, this won't leak all over the place in my fridge. I'm gonna put it in the fridge overnight and I got um, some pork belly out there too so I'm gonna smoke this and the pork belly. Unfortunately this isn't getting all the way down in there where I want it but hopefully this will soak in there really good. I'm probably gonna have to do something like this just to keep this so I got the whole brine in underneath it. All right, so that way I got my meat on it. I have to put something underneath it. So I have to put something a little higher underneath it. So I can make sure that the whole meat is getting the brine. Tomorrow morning, I'll throw it in. I've done some temperatures. I've never done this before. I have no idea. I haven't Googled it. I haven't done nothing. Um, I just got the idea of how to do this from Heath Riles turkey thing. So. Let's see what we end up with tomorrow. I was able to figure out, now I've got the whole thing underneath. Um, I just put one of my cutting blocks underneath in the pan at an angle. So as you can see now, the meat is completely in the brine. And we'll put it in the fridge. 24 hours from now, we'll start to smoke. I did two segments, beautifully done. I think I would've won an Academy Award for both segments. Unfortunately, I didn't check my mic and my mic was dead. So there's no audio. I could do a voiceover, but it's not going to match. It's going to be like watching something in a different language and you're hearing it in English. So I figure I'll just do kind of a recap of what I did. Um, the deer legs stayed in overnight in the fridge. Uh, right, at, right at about 24 hours, I took it out. Um, dried it off, got everything, rinsed it off. I also have a couple of pork bellies, so I rinsed those off. I'm cooking that all together today in my smoker. You'll see here in a second. Um, let it all kind of come to room temperature. And then on the 
deer leg, I cut off some of the membrane because there was a lot of membrane around it and I was kind of hitting it with one of the meat hammers and it was really hard to get through. So I cut some of the membrane off so I could get some of the flavoring into the meat. So I don't know if the garlic took or not. We're going to have to see. Next time I'm going to have to take that off. Lesson learned. Um, but I did put on bacon fat. Oop, wrong side. Bacon fat. Okay. Bacon grease. I put that on there on the whole leg and then I added some of the this um, rub, dry rub onto it. It's it tastes good. I like it. Um, hopefully it'll add some flavor to the deer meat and um, we'll see what happens. I got some notes here so I'm kind of going off it because like I said I did two segments and I want to get it all in. Um, I, may, I may have used a little too much garlic in the because it really was garlicky when I took it out of the bag. It was it, hopefully it'll be good. Um, Also, I've got duck fat. I was kind of up in the air about whether or not to use bacon or duck fat. Um, but I had some friends over yesterday because I didn't know how I wanted to put this. You know, was I going to put the, you know, the pork belly on top, let the grease drip down onto the deer meat? Was I going to put the deer meat up top, let that drip down onto the pork belly? Didn't really want that either. Or was I going to put a cookie sheet underneath, uh, a, a cookie sheet, a cookie cooler, so to speak, wire rack, and then put the sheet in here? And that way it would just drip into there and then I'd have the pork belly either um, probably underneath. But my one friend came over and she says, I would put the pork belly on top because everything tastes better with bacon. So we're going to try it. So we'll see. Might, uh, it might, might come out. It might not. We'll see. Again, this is the first time I've done this. I, I didn't do anything. I didn't research anything. I researched some temperatures. That's about it. You, uh, you want to get uh, the pork belly. I'm trying to get that up to 170. 175 somewhere in there i'm not trying to cook it all the way in the deer you want to get to 145 150 they suggest a medium maybe a little bit more than medium because if you overcook it it gets really hard and, ch and chewy i guess so we'll see uh, that's what i'm shooting for um i have i had the smoker set at 300 and i'm, I'm having a hard time the smoker's really getting finicky on me so right now i got it at 290 because i'm looking at all my stuff and right now my top two pork bellies are at 127 and 117, and the deer's already up to 114 in one of the probes. I got, as you can see here, I got two probes in each one going into the meat side. I got one pork belly up, one pork belly down, and then I got the deer underneath. So, you know, if there's any drippings and stuff, we got water in the pan so everything stays moist. Everything looks moist. I might actually come back and shoot some water over that just to kind of make sure that everything stays moist. Um, and again, I, I dropped this down. 290 i was up to 310 and it started it seems like everything's cooking quick next time i might go even slower i might go down to maybe 250 260 and see about cooking it slower because it says the slower you cook the deer meat the more it uh loosens up and gets which makes sense so i don't know maybe i might wrap the deer meat too who knows i, I don't know we'll, we'll see I, I didn't even think about that until right now i don't know if that would make sense i don't know if it would or not so we shall see anyway that's where we're at i put them in about 9 45 i'm not worried about the time Right now it's 1037. Um, it was 50 degrees and sunny. Now it's about mid 40s and cool and windy. So hopefully that won't affect the smoker too much. But we're still sitting at 290. And uh, I'll come back when we take this off, when we hit the temperature marks. All right, so let's um, wrap this thing up. Okay, so I pulled the leg out at 1335. Is it 145 on one side and the bottom side was 167. So I decided I'm going to wrap this. Okay. And whether it helps or not, I don't know. I was going to put on another layer of the bacon fat or bacon grease and put it in. I just didn't. Um, I, I cut a little slice out and it was kind of juicy. I, I figured, you know what, let me give it a shot without it. So I wrapped it in tin foil. Still kind of warm. When I pulled it out, it was, uh, again, 145 and 167 were the two temps, depending on which one I had in. One was in a little thinner slice. One was in a little bit more of a thick slice. Um, it's still very juicy. I wrapped it at 1335. It's now 1720. We're taking it out. It seems like it's still quite bloody. So we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I think game should probably be cooked a little bit more than this. But let's let's see what happens here. 
And now the part that was coming in at the lower temperature of 1345. I'm sorry, at 145. Yeah, 145. When I pulled it, it was right here. Okay, I had better lighting, but I just don't. It's just now it's here for my house. Cut a little slice. It's very juicy. I mean, it's really juicy and it's not really bloody. I mean, wow, it tastes really, really good. Um, I'm cutting down into it. I mean, as you can see right there, it's really not like bloody. And this is the part that was at the 145. Wow. Let's go to the part. Was it 165? Because I had one on each side. Truth of the matter is, I had one on each side. When I pulled it, this was at 165. It looks again done. I don't know if you can see it again. I don't have the best lighting. But wow. Oh. Oof. Very good. Not a lot of gaming flavor. Not a lot of gaming at all. I mean, you know, everything tastes like chicken. I don't think this tastes like chicken, but I'd put this on a level with beef. I really would. And it's right now, I'm, I probably got it at a, probably a medium well. It's kind of where I'm at. When I pulled it out, I was a little, uh, a little concerned because it was, ble it was bleeding a lot. But when I wrapped it for what is coming out to four hours, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I wish you could taste it. I mean, you know, everybody like, oh, my shit's so good. <laughs> this is really good. Um, you know, I would suggest doing it. Um, the brine, I can't really taste the brine. I mean, I'm not tasting a whole lot of garlic. I am tasting the wood flavor. And again, had I cut the membrane off, maybe I would get the garlic and onion and salt and pepper. I mean, it's a little salty, so the salt's in there. But this for an animal that doesn't have a lot of fat, this is extremely juicy. I mean, it is not dry, not dry at all. I mean, you don't have like on the TV commercials where you got the juices flowing out of it, but holy cow, when you cut it and you take a bite out of it, it's not, it's not dry. I mean, again, you squeeze it, there's not a lot of juice in it. Maybe I should have put the fat on it, to put it in the wrap in, in the um, wrap and done it that way. And oh, by the way, I like seeing what it's still tempting at. Sorry, I forgot that part. It's really good. Holy crap, it's good. I don't brag about my food a whole lot, but this is good. All right, so the top part that was at 145 when I pulled it, three hours into a wrap. One twenty two. So in three hours it dropped twenty degrees. The back side, which was at one sixty seven when I pulled it. I mean it, it all kind of to me it kind of feels like it's probably about the same. So I'd be surprised if it's much above that. So I got a one fifteen right there. Kind of went in like this. Let's see where we're at here. One twenty. So I mean, the whole the whole thing is around one twenty, which you know is really like I said. Three hours later, it dropped maybe well the the best the 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 lightest part dropped twenty degrees. I probably wouldn't wrap it a whole lot longer than that. I mean, I do my briskets for about twelve ten to twelve hours. But then I got a whole bunch of them too, and I only had this in one big cooler, so this kind of took away from it. But this is really good. My wife may even like it, and she don't like deer meat. But the dinger just went off. She's waiting for a French fry. She's standing over here going, I don't want to be in the, in the thing. So um, we are done, and 
I'm telling you what, I'm calling this one a success. All right, I wasn't going to do a follow-up on this from yesterday. I thought it was done yesterday, but I got cutting this up. And today, it's got different, it's got, I think, a little different flavor. I can taste the salt, so I know the brine went through. Hint of garlic. And as you can see, this is still very, very soft. All right, this is still very juicy. It's still very juicy meat. Um, it really came out really well, better than I kind of thought it would. I put in my notes that I'm going to add or take away some of the garlic, but I don't think I'm going to. Um, and I uh, will do this again. I think next time I'm going to smoke it slower because I really can't taste the smoke in it. So I'll probably do it at about 220, 250, let it smoke for a good five or six hours, get the temp up where it was. The temp came out good, 145, 150. Um, like I said, this is, this is perfect. Um, one thing I forgot yesterday, yesterday was Marine Corps birthday. Happy birthday to all my Marine brothers and sisters out there. Today is Veterans Day. We've got some things that we're doing here in our, in our local VFW doing uh, free ceremonies. And then we're going to have lunch up at the VFW afterwards. So it's going to be a good day. But uh, thank you for all of my veteran brothers and sisters out there who are still serving, have served, and are no longer with us. But uh, Again, this is this is, was a deer meat. And it came, oh, the other thing too, I weighed it. Remember, I said I had four point uh, four pounds, ten ounces, ten and a half ounces. Right now, I'm right down to about. I don't think you can see this, but right now, what I cut was about two pounds. Came out to two pounds even. So, got a good little bit out of there. So, um, the dogs got a couple of big old bones. They're gnawing on them right now, and they're enjoying them. So, there's still some meat on them. I didn't. I carve them completely down so they're right now they're just kind of getting the meat off it but outside of that i'm going to do this again and if i do it again um we'll put another video up because uh tweak it a little bit 